Now we're going to talk about horizontal stretching and compressing. And to do this, we're going to use the square root function. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this so that instead of being the normal square root function, we're going to put a b times dx on the inside. So notice the way this is set up. The b is on the inside, and that's how we know it's horizontal. Anything inside of the base operator that we're using is horizontal. Anything outside is vertical. That was the, it's true for our shifting. It's also true for our stretching and compressing. So we know what our default looks like. Here's both of them again, g and f. We get our square roots. But if we come down here and we change our b, notice the one inside. That's how we know the b is on the f, but it's not on the g. So that we can keep this alone. When we let b equals 2, remember when it was vertical, that meant that it got taller. Well, let's see what happens if we do it horizontal. If I do 2, it actually, look, did, did you see what happened? It pulled this way. It compressed. So unlike our vertical, for our horizontal, if the absolute value of b is bigger than 1, then it compresses. It works backwards from the way the vertical did. That's the same thing with the shifting. Remember, shifting told you its sign. It was what it was for vertical. But for horizontal, you had to change it. A positive 3 actually went negative 3 to the left. And if it's between 0 and 1, that's when it stretches. And notice how it stretched, too. This point at 1, this, this 1 on the x value became a half. It's got the same y. The 2, or the 4, rather, with an output of 2, became an input of 2 with an output of 2. And then our 9 went to 4 and a half, and so on. So it keeps cutting things in half. It cuts all of our valid input values in half because it doubles them before it takes the square root. So let's see what happens if we change the b to a 1 half. And remember, that's, that's between 0 and 1, so that should stretch it. Should, so it should double, and it should go faster over here as to the, towards the right. And that's exactly what happens. 1 becomes 2. 4 becomes 8. 9 will become 18, even though that's off the graph. But so on and so forth. Every value gets twice as far as it was before, because we halved the value before we took its square root. And so that's how horizontal stretching and compressing works, and it behaves exactly backwards from the way it's written. And that's really a key here. Remember that the horizontal works the opposite way of how it looks like it should work.